हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वर्चुअल क्लास एट द ऑक्सफोर्ड स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन भक्ता भाई का दिस लेसन इज फॉर क्लास नाइन सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश चैप्टर नंबर वन द फन दे हैड फ्रॉम योर इंग्लिश बुक बी हाइव Hello, good morning, students. This will be as again. Uh, let's catch up the rest of the paragraphs uh, of the chapter number one. The fun they had from your English book, Behind. I'll just read the further paragraphs and then we'll discuss. The part Margie hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers. She always had to write them out in a punch code. They made her learn when she was six years old, and the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time. Just quick recapping. If you remember that uh, Tommy had found a printed book in the attic of his house, and Margie and Tommy had been discussing. about the school which was written in that book and also during the conversation she remembered an incident when her mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test uh, in geography so after finding some problem her mother took uh, both of them to the county inspector now she was just describing she was telling her feeling that uh, uh why she hated the school and uh, the the part which she hated more that was the slot where she had to put her homework and she had to do a punch code these things were taught to her when she was 6 years old she also said that uh, when she inserted her homework into the slot the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time in no times means in few seconds just like computer The inspector had smiled after he was finished and patted Margie's head. He said to her mother, "It's not the little girl's fault." Mrs. Jones, "I think the geography sector was geared a little too quick." So while fixing the problem in the mechanical teacher, the county inspector he smiled after he finished his work and patted margie's head patting is like uh, hitting something uh, quickly and lightly and he also told her mother that it wasn't her fault it wasn't margie's fault there was some problem uh, with the geography sector in the mechanical teacher and uh, that was geared a little too quick means it wasn't up to the level those things happen sometimes i have slowed it up to an average 10 year level so what he did he fixed it up and he slowed it down up to the level of 10 years student actually the overall pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory and he patted margie's head again he also clarified that uh, uh, the overall performance of margie was quite good quite satisfactory and he patted margie's head again just to cheer her up margie was disappointed she had been hoping they would take the teacher away all together they had once taken tony's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely blanked out means erased so she was disappointed because the county inspector had fixed the problem and now she had to do the homework and things again what she was expecting what she was hoping 
that they would take the mechanical teacher away altogether and she remembered once same thing happened with uh, Tommy's mechanical teacher there was some problem in the history sector so they had taken the mechanical teacher away for nearly a month so she said to Tommy why would anyone write about his school Tommy looked at her with very superior eyes coming back to the conversation she was surprised and she was curious to know that why would anyone write about a school on that question Tommy looked at her with superior eyes superior eyes means like looking at someone uh, thinking whether he or she uh, don't know anything because it's not our kind of a school is stupid this is the old kind of a school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago he added loftily pronouncing the word carefully centuries ago so he clarified that thing that it wasn't a kind of uh, uh, school uh, what they had at their time so he said that uh, they had different kind of school hundreds and hundreds of years ago and he added that he said that loftily loftily means again superior way right? so looking at Marvi uh, thinking something about her he explained her that it wasn't a, a, a regular school it wasn't um, the school like they had it was something different and he wanted to stress on this word centuries ago centuries ago means uh, hundreds more than hundreds years ago Margie was hurt well I don't know what kind of a school they had all that time ago she read the book over his shoulder for a while then said anyway they had a teacher as Tommy addressed to her silly stupid so she was hurt and uh, then she started saying she didn't know that what kind of a school they had at that time and uh, she started reading the book uh, putting on his shoulder for a while and then find out uh, and said that they had a teacher sure they had a teacher but it wasn't a regular teacher it was a man on that Tommy quickly responded that yes surely they had a teacher but it wasn't a regular teacher what the regular teacher means here uh, is not the same teacher what they had like mechanical teacher robotic teacher so what was the difference in uh, hundreds years ago uh, they had t different teacher and what was that a man a man how could a man be a teacher so that answer really surprised Margie and she asked how could be a man a teacher well he just told the boys and girls things and give them gave them homework and ask them questions so it seems like uh, that uh, uh, Tommy knew much about uh, the school he must have read in the book so he said that uh, uh, the teacher the man he gave homeworks to kids students girls and boys and also asked them questions a man isn't smart enough so in Margie's opinion a man could not be smart enough intelligent enough just like uh, her mechanical teacher sure he is my father knows as much as my teacher 
he knows almost as much i betcha betcha is an, an informal word is like uh, betting on something so what tommy replied that uh, surely in his opinion he was saying that surely a man could be uh, intelligent enough he compared with his uh, father and uh, he said that his father knew as much as the mechanical teacher knew and he wanted to bet on that he was quite sure he was quite certain on that margi wasn't prepared to dispute that she said i wouldn't want a strange man in my house to teach me so margi just changed the topic a little bit because she didn't want to argue it further so she said that uh, she wouldn't like someone uh, some strange person coming to his house and teach her tommy screamed with laughter you don't know much margi the teachers didn't live in the house they had a special building and all the kids went there on that answer tommy laughed loudly uh, at uh, margi and uh, he explained that the teachers didn't live in the kids houses he uh, all the kids had to go to a special building and what they call that building school and all the kids learn the same thing so now again margi was curious to know that if uh, all the kids were taught the same thing sure if they were the same age on that Tommy answered that uh, sure if all the kids all the students were at the same age in the same class but my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches and uh, each kid has to be taught differently in margi's opinion once her mother told her that uh, every kid has different level of understanding so the teacher had to like uh, you know uh, teach differently separately uh, as per their level just the same they didn't do it that way then if you don't like it you don't have to read the book so here looks like that uh, Uh, Tommy got a little bit irritated with the questions coming from Margie so he said that okay if you don't like it then don't read it I didn't say I didn't like it Margie said quickly she wanted to read about those funny schools so she responded on that that uh, uh, clarify that she she liked reading are uh, knowing about the school and uh, in fact she wanted to read more about uh, those about those schools and she found them funny they weren't even half finished when margi's mother called margi school they were in middle of the conversation and uh, they hadn't finished the conversation yet uh, at the same time margi's mother called margi and uh, asking her to go to attend the class attend the school and she said that margi school time margi looked up not yet mama now said mrs jones and it's probably time for tommy to Margi tried to avoid that and she wanted to spend more time reading that book knowing more about the schools but uh, uh, her mother insisted that she must leave now 
to attend the school and she also uh, asked Tommy to go and attend his school. Margie said to Tommy, can I read the book some more with you after school? Because Margie wanted to learn more about the school and so she requested Tommy if she could read more about the school and after finishing her class, her school. Maybe, he said, nonchalantly. Nonchalantly means um, showing not much interest. So he just said like that, maybe. He walked away whistling the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm. So now you can imagine that uh, um, he just shown no interest, uh, not much interest in fact, and uh, said that maybe, and uh, he just walked away from there, uh, blowing whistle from his mouth, and the book was in his arm. Margie went into the schoolroom. It was right next to her bedroom and the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her. It was always on at the same time every day except Saturday and Sunday. Because her mother said little girls learn better if they learn at, the, at regular hours. So now let's see what kind of uh, school uh, classroom she had. It was just a room, just next to her bedroom. And when she entered into the room, the mechanical teacher was al already waiting for her. She had to attend the school at the same time regularly, except Saturdays and Sundays, because her mother told her that the little girls could learn better if they do study at the regular hours. The screen was lit up and it said, Today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions. Please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot. So there were some instructions for Margie already on the screen of the mechanical teacher uh, for that day work and yesterday's homework. So she was asked to insert the homework, yesterday's homework, into the proper slot. Marky did so with a sigh. Sigh means like uh, taking a deep breath, showing sadness. So she did that. She just followed the instructions given by the mechanical teacher. But she wasn't very happy. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. So all the time while she was uh, doing her work, she kept thinking like what kind of a school they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a kid. All the kids from the whole neighborhood came laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together in the schoolroom going home together at the end of the day they learned the same thing so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it so she kept thinking that uh, you know, it could be a fun all the kids from the same neighborhood went to school together studied together played together laughed talked and moreover they learned the same things so when they returned from the school, they could discuss with each other on the same topic and help each other. And the teachers were people. And moreover, all the teachers were people, were human beings. The mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fractions, one by two and one by four. So there was some instruction coming on the screen for her uh, related to that day's work. Margie was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days. She was thinking about the fun they had. So this is what exactly I told you in the beginning of this 
chapter that the fun like you have enjoying with your friends with your classmates uh, going together to school talking in the school van and playing different different games when you have problem you just uh, go and talk to your teachers so that sort of uh, joys she was just you know thinking all the time while she was doing her work with the mechanical teacher so that that was all and uh, i hope you understood well if there's anything left then you can always discuss with me in the online class today thank you very much enjoy your day ahead stay safe thanks